Hi guys, it's me Faye here at Faye Desk and I'm back with another video. If you are new to my channel, I am a eclectic fairy Wiccan and I dabble in different magical art and makeup and all good fun stuff. So yeah, if you like what you see then make sure to hit the subscribe button. But I am back as I've just said, so I've just repeated myself, it sounds completely stupid. <laughs> but I am behind on this challenge as well. If you are a pagan uh, YouTuber and you may possibly be part of the Facebook group for pagan YouTubers and the lovely lady Annika who runs the group has come up with a new challenge for 2018 which is the ABC alphabet challenge which is basically for every letter of the alphabet you choose a pagan related topic and uh, talk about it. <clears throat> so me being me decided not to start doing this until the end of February so we are going to be a bit behind but I hope you enjoy it. So this week we're starting at the beginning so letter A and for letter A I've chosen the topic of altars. So if you see me looking down it's because I am looking in my trusty notebook. I made some notes on what I wanted to talk about so let's get started. For those of you who are uh, new to the craft you may not know what an altar is. An altar is essentially a sacred space that you use to focus your uh, the focal point for your worship so I as you can see you probably can see part of one of my altars my working altar here and I will link a video below uh, that I did uh, last year on this altar so you can uh, if you want to see that then check that out but so as I was saying, an altar is a sacred space, a focal point for your worship. It is some, it's somewhere where you can do all your um, rituals, your spells, your meditations, or just sit there and work on your connection with the divine. Like I just find my altar is definitely one of my happy places. Like without a doubt, I love, love my altars. I just there's just something magical for me about an altar and of course I want to put that out there before anyone anyone attacks me is that you don't have to be pagan wiccan witch whatever and have an altar some traditions may define that as a uh important part of, like necessary part of the craft but obviously you don't have to do that a lot of as witchy people like to have altars as I personally find it helps me to focus and zone in and to just sort of find it sort of separates my everyday sort of mundane life with my magical one and I think and you can have all you can create altars for various different different situations different scenarios you can create altars dedicated to different goddesses and gods uh, you could create altars dedicated to different sabbats and seasons uh, you can create an altar dedicated to your branch of wicca or paganism you can have color themes you can have anything that's what i love about altars is that there's just so much you can do with it i've and i've seen so many really beautiful beautiful altars my altars uh there's no set theme as such it's just it really is just sort of a sort of eclectic gathering of all the sort of things that i love and that make me happy um i have there i set my altar up where it works for me i know some um some practices say you have to have your altar i think it's east facing or is it west facing i can't remember that comes up with the sun and down the sun I can't remember but I don't subscribe to that a lot of people may not necessarily be able to have their altar in a specific space they may only be able to use a windowsill or a shelf or a cupboard or anything or not actually be able to physically dedicate a space and also as well some people can't have for whatever reason a person um, a permanent altar some people have to have like a travel altar or to go altar they have to 
uh, get all their gre all their altar items out and arrange it for when they're doing their spell or ritual meditation whatever and then have to put it away as they may not have the room or they may be teenagers and their parents may be really against them practicing so they have to keep have to sort of do it um discreetly or they may have the same situation with roommates or a partner who may not agree with them to do things discreetly or they or they may not feel comfortable having a, per a permanent altar out some people as well they disguise they like to disguise their altars they sort of have some people may have it like in a corner and have things that look inconspicuous that they um different items that correspond to what they uh like a specific element or something that they that was representative to them but to anybody else just like like an ordinary un, uh, item that wouldn't look out of place as so some people feel like that they have to for whatever reason not be able to just have their altar out on display and um, my very first altar which i'm going to show you in a minute is my it's my non-working altar now is what i always used to use as an altar was my permanent altar my first permanent altar and it is on a bookshelf um above my bed and i've used it as my altar for years and then uh my, my last birthday just gone my birthday before i got this beautiful table from my sister for my birthday so now this is my permanent working altar and it works a bit better for me because it's on the floor I can actually sit in it or kneel or whatever in front of it whereas before it was above my bed so I was only sort of standing and it was literally a bit higher than me so I can see it but I'm not like level with it so I just find that works a lot better but because I love that altar and it's so sentimental and it has such good vibes for me like I don't take it down I just leave it there I may occasionally light a candle there but I don't use it really I can see it every single day when I get up and I absolutely love it and it has such a good vibe for me but that's just that but anywho i feel like i went off on a tangent my altar uh, one of my first altars that wasn't a per wasn't my permanent altar i'd actually made a altar board from like some sort of thick cardboard and i'd used um silver and um gold gel pens and i'd drawn a pentagram and some like sort of moon and stars and i'd got a couple of can and i'd have like a little box that i keep everything in and when i wanted to do a spell or a ritual i'd get everything out and do it and then put everything away again and I did that for a while and then I sort of found a home for a permanent altar and it sort of it uh, went went from there really but some of you may not know again like if you're just starting out in the craft what you may think right I want an altar I found my perfect space for my altar what do I put on my altar to start as you grow through the years and get older and wiser you you get to know yourself and get to know what you like and you get to collect things and sort of build your altar but as you're starting out i would say items to focus on is something to represent the four elements and the spirit uh to have some sort of pentagram or pentacle something and something to represent the god and goddess that's how simple I would say to keep it if you're just starting out so you could have a candle to represent fire element if um, and you don't even necessarily have to burn or if you're unable to burn a candle for whatever reason you could just have it there for show or you could draw a picture of the Sun or something that represents the Sun and that could for you could represent fire you could use a feather or incense to represent air you could use a jar of water which i did for a long time a little jar with a screw lid of water to represent water you could use earth as in physical soil to represent earth or you could use leaves to represent earth or branches or flowers or any anything to you that sim that you that you associate with the elements you could use that on your altar for the god and goddess you could use a silver candle for the goddess and you could use an orange or a yellow candle for the god to represent the sun and the moon or you can um 
draw a triple goddess symbol you could use the moon you could use the three stages of the moon for the triple goddess so your wa your waxing full and waning moon that could represent the goddess for you you could use the green man or um to represent the god for you it's just just anything that you feel is representative to you that you feel represents the elements i'd say just go with it go go with it definitely and as you sort of progress along your path you'll pick up things and you'll think yes this is for my altar your altar will build and grow and change and as you as you do as you progress through the craft but yeah so it's all about starting out simple i think is best and it can be really cheap and cost effective it doesn't need your altar items don't need to be expensive they don't need to cost the earth you can go to your local dollar tree or your pound land or or walmart or supermarkets wherever and you can pick up really cheap item pick up really cheap candles you can pick up look nice little cloths that you could tablecloths you could use as an altar cloth just anything you could get a whole altar set for ten dollars or ten pounds whatever if you really sort of um look and know what you're looking for but yeah just something simple whatever feels right for you go with it so now I'm going to show you my altar. For those of you that have been following my channel from the beginning, you will have seen uh, my altar, which hasn't really changed since then. But for those of you that haven't, I hope you enjoy seeing my original altar. And I would absolutely love to see what your altars look like. I love watching altar videos. as some of my favourite witchy videos to watch on YouTube. So comment below with links to your videos on your altars or pictures of your altars or anything like that as i absolutely love it i think it's amazing so yeah so i hope you enjoy seeing my altar and i will see you very soon in my next video blessed be Mwah. welcome to my little altar if you hear creaking it's my bed is a very creaky creaky bed but yeah so i have this altar on a shelf an additional shelf that I had put under the shelf years ago and this side this isn't really my altar but I've got a um, couple of different witchy books on here and I got some really 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 pretty um, book air butterfly bookends and I just keep some of my different witchy books on there I'll show you that in another video this I got for Christmas from my mom says never stop dreaming mug and it's really pretty I don't actually want to use a drinking mug I've just put it there for now I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in it uh, so let's start it and I do dust my altar but it gets so so dusty so this is a cute little fairy look at how dusty this is and I dust it all the time cute little fairy um bucks but I just keep it on my altar because I want it to represent fairies for me and so I have that uh, follow your dream that real driftwood I have the power to make changes and a couple of other sort of butterfly little things uh, I'm not going to pick everything up and put it down as it would just get crazy and I don't want this video to be too long at oh god at the back here that is a bell if you can see it with a pretty butterfly on it so i sort of sometimes use that to cleanse my space most of these things i have on my auto actually presents from my mom that she's gotten from like when she's gone to cornwall and devon and places like that so there is a little pixie at the front another little uh witch with a real broomstick and that is a real candle obviously i've never used it i just keep it for show here is like a um guardian of the forest like a tree tree god at the back there is a um yellow tea light holder a crescent moon tea light holder there uh this is a fairy my mom got me for my birthday a few years ago and she's beautiful i absolutely love her and then that for those of you that watched what i got for my 30th birthday i'll link that video below as well is actually an incense holder it's beautiful and it's incredible but i keep it on my altar as i just love looking at it every day that drawing at the back is what one of my friends at the time she drew for me is supposed to be represent the goddess bridget 
that is a besom handcrafted fairy besom with a amethyst top that crystal top that I got um, I bought it on an auction online years ago um, so there behind the witch and in front of the fairy is a um, rose quartz crystal and that is a amethyst tree I got that in a set years ago at the front this peg which actually goes with that wood that I'd shown you is driftwood real driftwood as well and it says today i choose to and then trust my heart so i absolutely love that uh i've got a clay handmade pentacle um my friend made me and i've got some different crystals there uh this is a so it's supposed to be a worry stone it's gotten so dusty horrendous you wouldn't think i dust this like it's just awful but yeah that is a pretty glass butterfly there's some more fairies there 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 my mom got me that my daughter my angel and there is a fairy snow globe back there there's another fairy there there's another fairy there uh, there's a fairy pot at the back there, that egg-shaped uh, egg thing you can see that says daughter on it is actually a pretty candle holder. Uh, that is a uh, dragonfly trinket box, it hasn't got anything in it at the moment. That is my jar there, I've always used to keep my represent my element of water in it. It's got my spirit animal bats, one of my spirit animal bats on top. That... The same friend that drew me that, drew me that, and as a representation of the goddess. And at the back, that is a love um, handmade puppet doll that I won years ago. She was so beautiful. Um, that there, my sister bought me off one of her holidays. It's a fairy wishes jar. It's actually what I use to manifest the job that I'm in now. So I just sort of keep it on there. And this at the back, you can see it's still got residue of incense in it, is a leaf leaf shape incense holder so i think i've shown you everything as you can see everything is like so sort of clustered together but yeah and there's a pretty fairy picture next to my um altar there i also have underneath my altar I have a couple of things hanging up so this one says don't forget to be awesome don't quit your daydream that one says make today count and i stuck a pretty butterfly on it and this one says a dream is a wish your heart makes and that one is home is my happy place and this one is my happy halloween always gets twisted um witch in a cobweb and that is a metal flower and a metal butterfly and this last one on the shelf is follow your dreams so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my altar and I'll see you very soon. Blessed be. Mwah.